Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to those of you joining us online. Uh, my name's Claire, I'm the Children's and Families Team Leader here at St Anne's. Uh, let's take a moment uh, to come before God. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Um, we haven't got Selena this morning, um, but we are going to sing two songs um, on video, I Speak Jesus and Mighty to Save. Please stand.
switched it back on, yes. Um, sometimes um, life can throw all sorts at us, can't it? <laughs> and we can feel like we are in the wilderness. Uh, during this time of Lent, um, we, we reflect on Jesus being in the wilderness and traditionally we'd be fasting and praying more um, to bring us closer to God um, and hear what he's saying to us. But sometimes, I think, when we're in the wilderness, it can almost feel harder to see God sometimes um, and how he's working in our lives. But I've realised that God shows up in the most unexpected of places, in the most unexpected of ways. Um, I feel like this year, lots of us here um, have already been through some quite challenging things gone through some tough times, still going through them, including periods of illness and family illness and upset. But God has shown up in unexpected ways. And this week, particularly to me, um, he's definitely shown up in unexpected ways when I've really needed him. Um, we're going to read from 1 Kings 17, verse 1 to 7. Now, Elijah, the Tishbite of Tishbe in Galilee, said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives before whom I stand, there shall be neither dew nor rain these years, except by my word. And the word of the Lord came to him. Depart from here and turn eastwards and hide yourself by the brook Cherith, which is east of the Jordan. You shall drink from the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did accordingly to the word of the Lord. He went and lived by the brook Cherith, that is east of the Jordan, and the ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. And after a while, the brook dried up because there was no rain in the land. Now, many of us have had to sit by drying brooks. They can all look different though. Maybe the dry brook of health or money or friendship. Now, it can take a special grace and a unique word from the Spirit of God to see the brook dry up in front of you and you to bear with it and know that God is still with you. We like to see things move from one success to another, sort of like we, we want it to be from good thing to good thing. But we know that's not the reality. Or sometimes what's best for us. I think it's about trusting not only the gifts of God, but in his presence with us. Now, the spirit of the living God will show us how um, to be with him. He will be with us. He'll be inside us. Now, Elijah would have been really quite confused, okay, by hearing God say to him, go out into the wilderness, um, and to be fed by a raven. Now, a raven is um, an unclean animal. So Elijah and everyone else at that time would have been like, you, you just, you don't do that. You don't go near them. But God sent a raven morning and evening with all that he needed. And I think sometimes we don't see um, God in the places we don't expect him sometimes. We, we kind of, we, we have blinkers on thinking, oh, he can't possibly turn up there or b be there in that situation. 
Um, now, you, you hear jokes of people seeing Jesus in the frozen veg section of the supermarket, or maybe, um, I think I've got a picture somewhere, and a slice of bread, or naan bread, as this one may be, um, or in a tree. Now, I know this sounds really strange, but outside my nan's house, <laughs> I feel quite crazy saying this, um, but honestly, there is a tree that has that image on it. If I've seen that tree for 40 odd years um, <clears throat> and never seen that, and it was just when somebody pointed it out to me that they said, can you see a, an image in that tree? And I'm like, don't be silly. <clears throat> but then I saw it and, I can't, and now you can't unsee it, whether it's Jesus or just that image. But actually, when we need Jesus and an image appears. He's just reminding us that he's there. Now, uh, last week, I had a particularly um, <laughs> rough week with um, family and um, my nan not being too great. I'm glad you're back well, nan. I think she'll be watching this morning. Um, but um, I also, I, I, was, I spent the day with my nan last Tuesday um, and then I, my daughter also needed me in Nottingham and she'd got a gig that um, I'd promised her that I'd also go to and I'd got some things for her that she needed. And so I went there and I'd, I'd had a really quite tiring day. Um, and it was at a nightclub, it was an, at a gig. And do you know when you go in and you get the stamps to say that you've got the ticket and all the rest of it? Um, God showed up to me there. They stamped my hand, and I didn't even look at it. And then I went upstairs um, with Andrew to the, um, the music area. And, and then somebody said to me, have you seen what your stamp says? And I looked at it, and it says, Cesus loves you. And I was like, Cesus? And, <laughs> and I thought, that's meant to say Jesus loves you. Um, and I, I thought, right. And then I got really, really excited, you can imagine. And I ran back downstairs and I just went, does the stamp say Jesus loves you? Because mine doesn't quite say it. And they went, yeah. I said, can you stamp my other hand, please? Because I realized that God was just saying, I'm with you. He showed up at a time and in a place I really did not expect. Um, and... It's just so reassuring when we can know that God can send ravens with all that Elijah needs and God can send somebody to stamp your hand <laughs> at a, a gig to just remind you that he's with you. And I think as we go through the rest of this week, this year, let's look for God in the unexpected, in the wider world where Sometimes we, we just, we're not looking for him. Let's put him out there. I praise God for whoever it was who chose that stamp. But let's see whether we can see him more in those places. Now, as we prepare to take this time of prayer into the coming day, the Lord who loves us says in Matthew, Father, help me to live this day to the full, being true to you in every way. Jesus, help me to give myself away to others, being kind to everyone I meet. Spirit, help me to love the lost, proclaiming Christ in all I do and say. Amen. Uh, we will now, I'll now say the collect for today. From the Church of England. Merciful Lord. Absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness, you, we may all be delivered from the chains of those sins by which our frailty have committed. 
Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus' sake, your, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And trusting in the compassion of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Notice us. Um, we have our morning prayer again on Friday morning at nine o'clock with Nigel and Leanne. Um, and um, we also have our normal Sunday services on at nine o'clock, 10, 15 ish and uh, 6 p.m. So you are all um, invited and welcome to come along to those. The final blessing, the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us this morning and thank you to those of you online. <laughs>